And now let's shift our focus to some big political news coming from Israel. It's Netanyahu's former aide and right-wing nationalist, Naftali Bennett, who will now rule the roost in Israel. Let's move ahead to know a little bit more about him and his political journey. Born in the Israeli city of Haifa to immigrants from San Francisco, 49-year-old Naftali Bennett is a former commando and a high-tech millionaire. One generation younger than 71-year-old Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Bennett has had a long and often rocky relationship with the former Israeli PM. He worked with him between the years 2006 and 2008 as a senior aide to Netanyahu, who was then opposition leader. Bennett reportedly left on bad terms, so later stormed into the national politics stage in 2013, serving as defense minister as well as minister of education and the economy in various Netanyahu-led governments. Bennett has been an advocate of liberalizing the economy. He has voiced support for cutting government red tape for businesses and lowering living costs by increasing competition. Orthodox rabbis wield strong influence in Israel, but Bennett is comparatively liberal on issues such as gay rights and the relationship between religion and state. But on the issue of Palestine, his views are no different than Netanyahu's. He has cited security reasons to say that the creation of a Palestinian state would be suicide for Israel. Bennett has been a staunch supporter of the Jewish settlements in the occupied territory. He is a former leader of Yesha, which is the main settler movement in the occupied West Bank. Bennett made the annexation of parts of the West Bank a major feature of his political platform. But now as the head of a government including left-wing and centrist parties, while also relying on support in Parliament from Arab legislators, it would be politically unfeasible to follow through on annexation. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.